Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Blake Murphy. Um, sorry if my voice is a little bit off today. I'm currently sick with COVID. So, but today we're going to be doing a little BCA activity for a social studies class or a beginning class activity. So let's get right into it. All right, so. All right. So from this, I would be asking some questions related to a video guide that I have. So the first question would be related to this first part of the image. So on the left side of the image, what are some elements that you notice? So for example, if, if I were a student, I might say, point out the architecture on this domed structure here, um, as well as the people in the background. Uh, there's a lot of people flooding the streets. There's a couple of people who look like they might be getting arrested or something like that. So I want students to pick that out. And other observant students might also notice something like this weird red drape thing here, or even this um, gray thing that sort of stands out in the background. And next, I'd ask them for one new thing they notice from this right side. So now this uh, red drape becomes apparent that it's not just part of one piece of the image, it's across the whole image. You might also notice that that red drape circles back around to the back there, as well as the people that you could have noticed in the first half of the image are also very prevalent throughout the entire image, throughout uh, the streets here and everything. And then my final question from the worksheet that I made is about the centerpiece in the presentation. So let me pull that up here. There we go. So as you can see, the man holding what we thought was a drape is actually this large flag that goes across the entirety of the image and almost seems to encircle like the whole city here. And I would have asked students what they think this man represents. And if you've ever seen something like Russian writing before, you might know immediately that he might be Russian or um, as well as the architecture might give it away that it's a Russian image. Um, I actually know about this image because I studied it, but um, this was a Russian painting and this man is meant to represent the Bolshevik identity. Um, he sort of looms larger than life. His ideas encompass the whole radius of the city. The people below him flock to him to sort of almost worship the idea of communism and Bolshevism that was very prevalent in the 1920s when this was made. So here's about the image. It's called The Bolshevik by Boris Kostodiev. The painting represented Boris' beliefs specifically. Uh, the painting was done in oil, so a very classical style common for the time. The artist never actually even saw this real revolution. He was uh, paralyzed from, I believe it was the waist down, so he was doing all kinds of paintings from his room, and he heard about the ideas presented by the Bolsheviks, and thought it would be something interesting to share with the people. And yeah. So that is a little bit of a mini lesson.